The Racine and Laramie Tobacco Shop, Old Town, San Diego. The current building stands as a reconstruction made forth by historians as the original building laid waste to a fire of 1872. Racine and Laramie Tobacco Shop is well known throughout the community of San Diego for its historical monumentation, but also it is reported one of the most haunted shops in all of Old Town. Reports of the paranormal range from the mundane to the utmost frightening. Reports of a tricksterous little boy named Philip who contracted smallpox in the 1850s, all the way to the most prominent spirit known as Katie. No one is quite sure who the young woman is, but she has been given the name Katie and has often been seen on the back staircase right outside the shop. One night, either due to Kate being with another suitor or threatening to expose the whole affair, she was stabbed to death and fell down the back stairway just behind the tobacco shop. This tree now stands where her body was documented to have been found. Tonight's pair game. I will sit at the base of this tree with two candles, a spirit box, a marker, and a pen pad, and we will try to contact the spirit of Kate. Hi guys, welcome back to Para Games Season 2. It's me, Taro and T, back with another amazing challenge for this year's Para Games. We're starting a little bit earlier than we did last year, and that's great because this year we're getting a little bit of extra time to film and put the video together and find the proper locations but the challenges are supposed to be getting harder and therefore we have to be more creative this year so you saw in that intro where we're at why we're here and this year's para games for me at least is going to be completely inspired by this book the haunted heart of san diego we are currently in the center of old town san diego right by that historic cigar shop. We are allowed two candles in this challenge and I do have two. However, it is a little difficult to have two candles because there is so much trees and shrubbery here and I'm a little nervous about having both of them lit. So I'm going to light both to participate in the challenge, but I believe we will only be benefiting from one of them yeah so like the second candle will be here and the first one's gonna kind of be at my feet here see it's a little difficult for me to even really use them so we're gonna do the best we can we've got our marker we've got our memo pad here and some people had pre-wrote their questions. I'm not gonna pre-write my questions. I'm gonna write them as I go along because of the location I'm at. I want to see what spirits I get in contact with and what questions are pertinent to those spirits. We are located in Old Town, so the airport is not that far from here and as well as a major freeway, so there is gonna be a little bit of noise pollution. I apologize, but I can promise you that I am alone. It is around, it's a lot later than it looks. As you can see, it looks kind of dusk, twilight-ish. In San Diego, we have the marina layer, so it doesn't always look as dark as the hour is. Um, and that's because of where we are located. So I'm just gonna put that out there. All right, guys. Uh, eight to 10 questions, two minutes a piece, and to give this time, time for the spirits to answer. And we're gonna see what we conjure up tonight. All right, we were gonna go ahead and start our awesome Spirit Talker app. Here we go. And I'm gonna go ahead with that first question. Oh, okay. Sorry, spirits. Don't knock over my tripod, okay? I need that. Okay. Okay, spirits, I am going to be writing down some questions on this notepad. And if you can read them 
I would love for you to answer the question as best as you can. See what we get going. You can also use this device to communicate and answer through. You can speak into my phone right here. It is a little bit windy, so, and there is. Wow, your name is Kevin? Kevin. Hi, Kevin, I'm Jenny. Whoa, right off the bat, you guys, we got a name. Whoa. Okay, so we don't need the full two minutes to answer that question. Okay, we did set a two minute timer. I'll show you guys. I've been... Okay. Okay, Kevin. this Kevin go ahead and answer it for me starting the timer you can read the question on my pad right here with that I have written go ahead and speak the answer into the camera which is this thingy right here in front of me or you can use energy from this to communicate Guys, this is seriously creepy considering I am sitting right where the was found. And I can tell you, um, Old Town San Diego scares me. It has always had an energy that is something else compared to anywhere else I've been. And the fact that I'm sitting in literally in between two historically haunted buildings and right on the ground of which was found it's a little intimidating. I'm like sitting right at the location, as you can see with the tree. And there is an overhead street lamp um, that kind of faces the other building. It's dark right here, though. And it's for like their security. Okay, Kevin, did you want to answer this question for me? Or any other spirits want to answer this question for me? I know it's backwards to the camera, guys. I'm sorry. Hello? Any spirits out there that wish to communicate with me? My name is Jenny, and I know I heard from Kevin, but is there anybody else that would like to communicate or answer this question for me that I have written right here? So that was the two minute timer for that. We're gonna go ahead and move on to question three. Yeah, I am a finger licker for paper thing. I know it's a bad habit. You guys, spirits, you can still continue to communicate even if I'm writing, okay? I was gonna bring my ghost box, but we forgot it. So it's been a chaotic week, you guys. Oh my gosh. It's kind of a weird question, but Okay, spirits, if you can Please read this question I have right here and answer it if you would like. I'm gonna go ahead and set my timer. And I am marking the question number <laughs> right there so I know how many I've asked. Um, so, Old Town, the history of San Diego is amazing. If anybody has ever looked into it or cares to look into it just from like the Spanish settlement 
hello, stay with me now. There's a little bit of a breeze. Um, from the Spanish settlement here to the um, history of um, how the land was, uh, how the land was purchased and what was available with the land and all the canneries that were available here, like your, your tuna canneries, like Bumblebee and Star Kiss and all them. They all started here. They were commercial canneries just right off the harbor in Point Loma. And it's amazing the industry that boomed from here. But even going further back than that, the original settlements were crazy, which brought forth a lot of what um, makes for the hauntings in this area. So, okay, I'm not, you guys aren't being too chatty with me tonight. What gives? It might be a little, I old spirits so this stuff could probably be a little for them but if they don't want to use spirit talkers we will try another one on the next question we've got about 18 seconds left for this question i wonder if kevin is the little boy that haunts inside of the scar shop that they do catch glimpses of. What was that? Oh, I saw something. Okay. Question three. Okay. Sounds like there's some people walking on over there. Okay, we're going to try a different app. Um... Sometimes I get spirit talkers to work really well, and sometimes I don't. Um, let's try, let's try my tried and true, which is Ghost Tube. See what happens. fourth question here. I'll show it to you guys. And Spirit, if anybody would like to communicate with me and answer the question that I have written down here, if you can see it, that would be awesome. Ghost tube's going. Let's see what we get. We'll give this app a couple of a shots and see if they communicate with this one or not. It's very dusty right here. Come inside. Come inside? There is a child that's supposed to haunt in there. I can't come inside, but can you answer my question? Is the AC from one of the buildings? <laughs> scared me. That was an interesting pop. I can't come inside, but can you answer my question that I have written right here? So is that like with vampires when a spirit invites you in? You're permitted, right? Spirits and me usually get along fairly decently. So I'm sitting on the ground, so if you see me staring up, there is like windows into the building up there. Not into the cigar shop, which is this way. Um, but there is another building right here. And like I said, all these buildings have a history. So that's why I'm kind of like, oh boy. <laughs> all right. We've got a few more seconds on this question. I can't come inside, but can you answer my question? Okay. So instead of really answering me, I got an invitation. All right. My leg's falling asleep. Question number five. Actually... Oh, 
was going to say that word, but I changed it to the other word. Okay, spirits. Let's, let's go. Can you answer my question that I have written down here on this pad? Can you even repeat the question that I have written? That would work too. I kind of want to know if you can see me. Can you answer that? Can you see me? Can you see my question? I'm trying to stretch my leg because it's falling asleep. Backfire sound. They said the uh, freeway is just like maybe half a mile, a mile over that way. Some of these locations are not going to be the most quiet. Um, not because the area, like right here, is quiet, but um, I know these cameras pick up everything. So I know it's probably picking up the freeway, which is over there. Kevin, any other spirits that want to communicate? Can you see me? Can you see what I have written down? And if you can, can you answer it? I got my other candle going. It's just like I said, it's not. I think it just had like an ad pop up. Okay, so that was a no go on that one. We are going to try, I don't like using necrophonic, but we're going to give it a shot. Not that I really have anything against it, I just think that it's the air conditioning. I just think that, you know. Let me turn those two off. Question six. Can you read what's on my pad here? Or what I wrote on the paper and tell me if you can see it. Sorry, I was making sure my alarm was set. Timer. The man? What about the man? What about the man? Or the men? Four? There were four? Behind me? 
Did you guys hear that? So it said behind you. Behind. The cigar shop door is like technically behind me. Or is there somebody behind me? There's another door. See? Were they trying to steal? Were they trying to rob? juicy now. Okay, stop my timer. Can you read the question that I wrote down? And if you can, can you answer it for me? Hello? Me? Did you? You did? They did? I swear it says look up, like. And I don't want to because there's a window up there, like. And I'm like, no, no, no. Do people have reported sightings there? <laughs> Feminine hello. Can you repeat that? I'm looking for you to answer the question that I wrote down. Maybe give me a name? I swear I heard it say more. Which was what they accused her of being. Floor? I'm s me? I'm on the floor, sitting on the floor, yeah. is set. Okay, spirits, can you read the question on the paper that I wrote? And can you answer the question? Can you give me the answer to the question? for an answer. Anybody can anybody who wants to communicate can answer. Did 
Did you say the base? The base. Ow. Ow. Bridge. Bridge? Come on. Give me an answer. Oh, I know you're trying so hard. Come on. Come on, answer the question. Can you see the question? Come on, I know you're trying so hard. I have to go back and rehear this stuff. Okay. Keep getting something about love. Who? Okay, can you answer the question I have written down? What was that? Get out? Whoa. Okay, I will. After this, I will get out. If you don't want me here, I won't be here. That was a heavy voice. Foot. Can you see the question? They're not. They did not like this question. I, I'm getting a bad feeling. Like for real, you guys, I am. They did not like this question. I don't know why. Okay, I'm gonna finish the timer and then I'm I'm calling it because I'm getting horrible feelings. Thank you so much for whoever communicated. I release you from communication with me and you are not allowed to attach yourself to me or anybody that I come in contact with hereafter or any of the equipment that I have. And I stand by my convictions. You are to stay within the grounds you are residing in. I usually never have to say that. Okay, you guys, I'll stuff that in my shirt. All right. And that is the first Paragames Challenge of this year, season two. Also, if you did not catch Omar's new Alone in the Dark series, you are missing out. That is grade A material right there. And I am definitely proud of Omar and everything he's put into that. So if you have not checked that out, be sure to. Also, please go to What the Paranormal, click the new playlist for this year's Paragame Challenge, and please make sure that you're watching each and every single one of the participants, liking and commenting on their videos and really cheering us on. This is an amazing challenge. Even I am definitely spooked right now. And I can't wait till the next one. Until then, see you later.